the latest version of firmware now includes the cascade version and the cascade option basically allows you to connect two units together and it's a 32 by 32 interface over ethernet cable that's a direct connection only between the two units and it's a, around about half a millisecond latency so basically undetectable to us humans in any form now the way to get the S number one we need to set one unit up as a master and another unit up as a slave and that's done in the settings page under cascade I have one unit here under 101021 and I have another unit set up here under 101022 and I've set up one of them as a slave as you can see here settings cascade so that's cascade on first of all slave and the other unit as a master and cascade I'll turn that on when you put the master on you will get an extra button here which lets you control the slave and the host at the same time from one screen you have to enter the IP address of your slave unit and this is for synchronizing queues and some other functions we'll go through in a moment now I'm able to go to my screen my mix screen and if I click on slave that's the slave if I click on host that's the host so I'm controlling both from the one user interface at the same time now I will not have suddenly 40 channels here to mix with because the DSP in each unit is able to only mix the 28 channels we have currently it's actually about 40 if you add everything else together but in, a, in any case you can't just mix all of them together but what you can do is bring in auxes masters share the master bus so if you have for example drums on this uh, slave unit as you can see here and I've got some multi-track there so I can go to my multi-track and I'll play some drums here okay and you can send this master that I've set up with compression and EQ etc the master bus can be sent and added to our normal master bus so this is for example this unit is sitting next to the drums it'll have bass maybe some guitars and drums on it and then I will go to my patching screen and in here we have to go and cascade output and select what the output channels are going I've got some direct outputs going to slots we have 32 slots going in and 32 slots going out and what I've done here is in cascade out I've sent master left and right and I've also sent a headphone mix for solos through the cascade system slot one two and three that's on the slave unit on my master unit now my cascade input I want to grab some channels from here so let's go and say we'll put them in our channel 23 24 as we don't use those so we'll go to 23 oh, you can already hear the cascade coming through from there so I'll go to my main mix and these two channels as you can see here are coming from cascade 1 cascade 2 that's simple as that so you I basically now my other unit is mixing drums I can go to it straight away here and do the mix as I need to or I can fly through to my slave and back to my host and I have channel left and right from my slave unit so this would be slave left and slave right or I can just call it drums on another channel you can bring the bass on another channel you can bring um, effects you, you can do all sorts of things like that for ex now if you wanted a aux from one unit being sent to the other unit and remember it's 32 channels you can send either way so you can do a lot of things with that this is 
utilizing the system as a stage box where you need more inputs and you might want to use it as a submixer digitally with the Ethernet cable. Another way is using it as a mirrored system where every one of these channels can be a total mirror to the cascade. So I would go to my slave. Let's say this, this box is on stage. We'll first of all need to stop the multi-track. So this UI24 is on stage and I want to mirror the inputs over Ethernet to another UI24 sitting in the mix position. And that way you'll have uh, a monitor mix with separate EQ compression for monitors while the uh, front of house unit you'll have its own EQ compression effects. So it's basically going to mirror the inputs using it as a stage box and as a dual redundant system in a sense. And the easiest way to achieve that would be to go to your uh, section here on cascade out, patch one to one, that's done. Okay, so that's all my inputs going to the slots. And then I would do exactly the same on my host unit. I go to cascade inputs, patch channels. Okay, cascade inputs, patch one to one. Obviously my voice disappeared because I'm connected here. Uh, so patch it one-to-one -one, and now I have a one-to-one -one copy of what's on the host unit, uh, on what's on the slave unit. So between the host and the slave, there's a complete copy. I understand it's a little bit uh, confusing to start off with, but just think of it that you can send 32 channel audio any way you want to and assign them as inputs or outputs in, in a very flexible way.